Every pickup truck owner has stories to tell. And my story includes two pickup trucks that I owned over the last 27 years. Now that's a long time for just two trucks. And I think that's why my story might be a little bit different. So let me share what life's been like with these two trucks, what it's meant to my family and I, and especially the kind of work that these trucks have made possible. My truck career began in March, 1986. I was 23 years old then, and I just spent $500 on a 1968 F-250. Even though this truck was 18 years old, it only needed a brake job to certify. Working in my parents' driveway, I also changed the clutch, starter, and a few other parts just to make sure that I wouldn't have any trouble later on. I wanted to make this truck the centerpiece of my life's work, and it was with me and a great helper for the next 12 hard years of labor. I grew up in the suburbs of Toronto, but in 1985 I spent my life savings of $16,500 buying a 91-acre parcel of farmland and forest on Manitoulin Island, Ontario, Canada. It was 600 kilometers away from my boyhood home. It didn't have any buildings at the time either, so my wife Mary and I put up a small shed for living quarters while we were building a country home for the family we'd someday have. I also planned to make a career for myself on Manitoulin using my skills as a cabinet maker and builder to make ends meet. What I didn't realize at the time was how much hard work this would involve and how important my truck would be. But over the years I've really learned to love hard work and especially the great things that it brings to life. For Christmas in the year I bought my property, my dad gave me a book on traditional stone building. And as soon as I tore off the wrapping paper, I knew that natural stone was the material I'd build from. With more ambition than money, I gathered limestone slabs by hand wherever I could find them on and around our property, loaded them into the F-250, hauled them to my building site, then unloaded. Hammers, stone chisels, and a small stone saw are the tools I use for shaping the stone and after 2,500 hours of work, Mary and I were finished the 34 by 44 foot basement with its two foot thick walls. The F-250 hauled all the stone without complaint, about 500 tons in all, including the stone I'd use for the nine inch thick limestone walls above ground. The F-250 was 30 years old when a neighbor's truck died and he didn't have the money to replace it, so I gave him my old truck as a gift. The odometer had already spun around to zero again twice for me in the time I owned the truck, and I don't know how many times that happened in the 18 years before my name was on the ownership. But even though it was a 30-year-old truck with lots of miles on it, it was still as reliable as the day I put my own plates on it, back in 86. My next truck was the same one I own now, a 1990 F-150 four-wheel drive. It was the last truck owned by a legendary builder and farmer in my area, a man named Ivan Bailey. He was born in 1909, and his first vehicle was a 1929 Model A Ford that he could only drive in the summer because they didn't plow Manitoulin roads in winter back then. For the last couple of decades of his life, Ivan always bought a new red F-150 every two years. I managed to buy his last truck after he died, and I plan to keep it running for as long as I'm driving. I want to keep something of his memory alive, though this truck isn't a showpiece. It's my one and only work truck. I use it in the bush for hauling firewood out and materials in to various backwoods building jobs, and this truck is indispensable for maintaining the two miles of cedar rail fence on my cattle pasture. Though the truck does make it down to the city sometimes too. It's my vehicle of choice for the seven hour drive down to Toronto whenever I put on a building seminar or take my shot putter son down to attract me. It's a good looking rig and there's not a drop of body filler anywhere. My wife and I have filled our stone house with five kids now and the truck is part of all of their lives. Our oldest, Robert, rolled off the assembly line himself the same year as the truck did and he uses the F-150 most often to help with the cabin he's building for himself and his fiancée in one corner of our forest. Joseph is the athlete in the family, and he just set the Canadian national shot put and discus records for his age. Joe and I used the truck together most often traveling to track meets, but we also used it to haul the sand and gravel we used to make concrete throwing pads in one corner of our field. Without building these pads right at home to practice on, Joseph probably wouldn't be where he is today. 
Jacob takes care of our family flock of laying hens, and he likes the F-150 because it brings chicken feed home to our place. The truck certainly means a lot to all of us. My oldest daughter, Catherine, even asked me to drive her to her wedding this past July in the truck. That was the most important run I've ever made in our F-150, and it's the kind of thing that's made our truck more than just a working member of the family. Lucky for me, I've got one more chance to drive a young lady to her wedding in the truck someday. Ellie joined our family from South Africa in 2008, and out of all of our kids, she might just love the truck most of all. My corner of Western Manitoulin Island is a small place where everyone knows each other. It's kind of like a 21st century version of Andy Griffith's Mayberry. Every brand of truck has its followers, and most of us have some pretty strong feelings about the trucks we drive. After 27 good years with my two Fords, I've got nothing but great memories about what we've accomplished together and the work we've done. And really, isn't that what owning a truck is all about?